Ah, now I can take my breasts out because uh, Dreams doesn't let you have a camera. This is fantastic. This is this is what this is what I like. This is what I like to see. Now, uh, how do I get back in there? How do I? Uh, I don't remember how to get back in. Ancient Danger, I think it was called. I think that's what it was. Yeah, Ancient Danger, a bat's tail. There we are. Do I reset progress? Is that what it wants? Can I not play a different one? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Do you want to just do you want to just go dream surfing then for a while? You guys can give me a keyword and I'll I'll, I'll see what I can find. That's probably more fun, right? I, I guess nobody really wants to uh, see that game anyway. Okay, all right, go ahead. Uh, stop everything and read us a story. Okay, all right. Wow, we're having a bit of a, a paradox zero moment here, under the white oak. Well, let's uh, let's do it. Let's do the story for sure, for real. Thank you for redeeming it. I think I think you picked the perfect time. Your your sense of timing and candor. <laughs> I save us. <laughs> All right. Okay. I see. All right. Let's see here. Let's let's read like a big chunky one. Do you guys want a big chunky one? I'm thinking of reading such a chunkalicious story right now. It's going to be very high in calories. Okay. Let's let's do that. We're going to read an eight pager. We're going to read Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. <laughs> Rescued you guys from the precipice of boredom. Okay, where is, where is page 30? I think Frontier Jazz just left. Missed out on the story. Didn't have the self-control to Sega. Sega. We're just burning through points. Just doing a bit of a point burn. <sighs> Respectable. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't I can't show you the book, but you'll have to believe that I have one. You don't like having points currency? Okay. Well, get it out of here then. Alibaba and the Forty Thieves. I have to keep my right thumb on the control on the on the controller here so it doesn't die. Once there lived in a Persian city two brothers, two brothers named Kasim and Alibaba. Kasim who was the elder, married a rich girl, and with her money, he bought a big house with plenty of slaves and horses. Off to a good start. Ali Baba, however, married a girl as poor as himself. All they owned were three donkeys and three sacks. He used these to pick up firewood, which he would sell in the city streets. One day, as Ali Baba was out collecting wood to fill his sack, he saw a big cloud of dust on the horizon. Y'all getting married out here? Embarrassing. <laughs> As he watched, he realized that it was coming toward him, and the earth began to shake under his feet. The sand out there is being shaken up by a horde of galloping horses, Ali Baba said to himself. Whoever is on them is in a hurry, and won't want me standing in the way. So he climbed up into the nearest tree and hid himself. Soon, a band of robbers came riding up at high speed. Under Ali Baba's tree, they drew rein, and then dismounted and tethered there <clears throat> could be anything from here horses first they fed the horses then they unloaded their booty from the horses backs same dog piling sacks and sacks of gold and silver in a heap in front of a nearby rock then the captain of the band cried out open sesame and immediately the stone slid to one side revealing a cave the thieves went into the cave one by one carrying their sacks with them. So many sacks in this story. We're just just drowning in sacks. Ali Baba counted 40 of them going in and 40 coming out again. Then their captain said, Shut, sesame! And the rock slid back to its former position. The thieves galloped away, leaving behind them only a cloud of dust. Ali Baba climbed down the tree as fast as he could to see for himself what was inside the cave. Open sesame, he repeated, and waited. The rock slid back and he stepped into the cave. He was amazed to see that it was a well-lit vault dug out of the rock and filled to the ceiling with treasure. There were leather bags full of money, rolls of rich brocade, 
Am I saying that right? And valuable carpets. And chests full of rubies, pearls, and emeralds. Ali Baba heard the door slide close behind him, but he was not afraid because he knew the password to get out. He carried a few sacks of gold to the entrance and said, Open sesame! The rock opened as before, and he loaded the sacks onto his donkeys and went back to the city. When his wife saw the gold, she at first thought that he had stolen it and began scolding him. But when he told her his story, she was pleased beyond measure. She began counting the coins one by one, but there were so many that she lost count. So she went to her sister-in-law to borrow her scales to weigh the sacks instead. What do you want them for? asked Kasim's wife suspiciously. I can't tell you that, her sister-in-law replied quite sassily. Then Kasim and his wife secretly put some wax onto the bottom of the scales so that whatever was put in the pan would stick. Having measured the gold, Ali Baba's wife returned the scales without noticing that a piece of gold had stuck to the wax. How would you not notice that? But when Kasim and his wife saw the coin, they were filled with jealousy. Where did you get all that money? Kasim demanded. Ali Baba, who was an honest man and a good-natured one too, told his brother everything, even the password into the cave. No sooner had Kasim learned this than he was filled with greed to possess the treasure himself. He saddled ten mules, piled sacks on their backs, and set off as fast as he could to the place where the cave was hidden. Open sesame, he cried, and the walls of the rock slid apart before his eyes. He entered, and the walls closed behind him again. Kasim was overcome with the sight of so much treasure. He went from one pile to the next, trying to decide which to take first. At last, he filled all of his sacks and returned to the entrance. But in his greed for the treasure, he had forgotten the password. All he could remember that it was the name of some kind of seed. Oh, open barley, he cried, but the doors remained shut. He tried various other grains, but none would work for him. At length, he heard the noise of the robbers dismounting outside the cave and tried to hide in one of the chests, but they had already discovered his mule and did not take them long to find him too. The thieves killed Kasim and cut his body into four pieces, which they placed near the door to frighten away anyone else who might find his way in. Then they rode off again to find some more caravans that they could rob. When Kasim had not returned by nightfall, his wife became anxious and begged Ali Baba to find him. Ali Baba guessed where he was and set out at once for the cave. He saw blood on the rock and soon found his brother's body inside the cave. In sorrow, he wrapped the four pieces together in a sack, filled two more sacks with gold, and carried all three back to his sister-in-law. Kasim's widow wept when she saw her husband's body, but she was comforted by her slave Morgiana, a beautiful and intelligent girl. Because they were still afraid of the robber's revenge, they did not want word to get around that Kasim had been murdered. The slave girl hit upon the plan of getting the most skilled cobbler in the city to come secretly and sew Kasim's body together again so that the corpse could receive a public funeral befitting a man of such enormous wealth. <laughs> that night, Morgiana went to the cobbler's house. Come with me, she said to him, and bring your tools with you. She bandaged his eyes so he could not see where he was going and led him to her house. There she commanded him to stitch the body together again, which he did so skillfully that no one would have imagined that Kasim had not died in his sleep. Then she blindfolded the cobbler again and led him back to his shop. Next day, Kasim's body was carried in state through the streets, followed by crowds of mourners and buried in a grave outside the city walls. I will move into my brother's house and take over his estate, Ali Baba told Kasim's weeping widow. If you will become my second wife, she dried her eyes and agreed, for it was common practice in those days for families to keep together in this way. Meanwhile, the forty thieves returned to the cave in the forest and saw to their fury that another man had found out the secret of the cave. Without delay, they dispatched one of the band into the city to find out who it was. The first man the thief spoke to was Mustafa, the cobbler. Has anything extraordinary happened in this city recently? The thief asked him, and Mustafa replied, I can't speak for anyone else, but the other night I had to sew a dead man together again, whose body had been cut into four pieces. The thief begged Mustafa to lead him to the house where, the, this, where this had happened, and for the price of a gold coin and a few hides of leather, the cobbler agreed to be blindfolded again, and successfully led the thief to Kasim's house. 
The thief marked the door of the house with a white chalk cross and returned to tell his comrades that he had found out who had stolen their treasure. Soon afterwards, the slave girl, Morgiana, returned from the market and noticed the strange sign on her master's door. She did not know what it meant, but decided that it would be safest if every door in the street were marked in the same way. So she chalked crosses on all the houses around. When the thieves came to the street and saw so many white crosses, they realized that they had been tricked, and in their fury they stabbed their companion to death. Another thief was sent to find Kasim's house, and again he was led to it by Mustafa in the night. This time he chalked a red circle on the door and returned to fetch the rest of the band. In the morning, however, Morgiana, the absolute MVP of the story, by the way, was up early to fetch milk, and she noticed the sign on the door. Again, she marked all the other houses in the street in the same way, so that the robbers did not know which was the right one, and in their anger, they cut off the head of the thief who had led them there. Then, the leader of the band of robbers himself visited Mustafa, and was led by him to... Dude, Mustafa is a fucking... Like, seriously, dude? Come on. Was led by him to Kasim's house. Instead of marking the door, however, he made a different plan. He disguised himself as a traveling merchant, selling oil in large jars, and knocked on Ali Baba's door at sunset. Ali Baba did not recognize the robber chief, dressed as he was in a long cloak, and leading nineteen mules, each with two large oil jars strapped to its sides. He could not guess that only one of these jars was filled with oil, nor that thirty-seven robbers were hidden in the other jars, each one ready to kill him when their leader gave the word. It is late, and I have come far, the robber chief said. Will you give me shelter for the night and allow me to store my oil jars in your yard? And Ali Baba, following the custom of Persia, welcomed the traveler to his house and invited him to eat at his table that night. As Morgiana began cooking their meal in the kitchen, her oil lamp suddenly ran dry, so she took the empty lamp to the yard to fill it with oil from one of the jars. When she approached the first jar, the robber concealed inside it mistook her for his chief and called out, Is it time? Morgiana was startled by the voice, but she was a very quick-witted girl. Not yet, she replied in as deep a voice as she could. She went to every jar in turn and gave the same answer. Then she filled her biggest kettle with oil from the last jar and set it on her stove to heat. When the oil was boiling, she carried it back to the yard and tipped some into each jar, scalding the thieves inside to death. Her master, meanwhile, was eating and drinking with his guest, and Morgiana continued to wait on them as if nothing had happened. When the meal was over, Ali Baba called to Morgiana to dance for them. She came in wearing a veil and carrying a drum and a jeweled dagger. So well did she dance to the beat of her drum that the robber chief was hypnotized by her sinuous movements. Closer and closer, she circled around him. Then, suddenly, she stabbed him through the heart. "'What have you done?' cried Ali Baba, rising in horror. Morgiana showed him the hidden knife, with which the robber chief was intending to murder his host, and when she led Ali Baba into the yard where the oil jar stood with dead thieves inside them, her master realized how well she had served him and his family. In gratitude, he gave Morgiana her freedom, and soon afterwards his son asked her to become his wife. As a wedding present, Ali Baba told the young couple the password to the cave, so they and their children were able to live in great comfort and happiness for the rest of their days. The end. She needs to take Ali Baba's house. Yeah, so the moral of the story is, I mean, if you got a good slave, like, don't, like, you know, man, treat her right, you know what I'm saying? What a weird, what a weird story. Then they had fried thieves to eat for months. <laughs> they were crispy, crispy and finger-licking good. All right, let's see what do we got here. Uh, let me check the chat here and see what we've what we've said. There was a lot. There was a lot going on. All right, so what about horse slaves? Uh, none. There were no horse slaves in the story, and I feel like that was a missed opportunity. Uh, resist urge to make horse cock jokes. I'm very proud of you. Resists harder. Very very proud of you. Uh, sack and booty. Stone is way less cooler than a giant lion head. My chest is also full of pearls. Is it? How does that work? Is it? It isn't stealing if you steal it from thieves. He did steal, though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, wait, what's going on? Story time. Yeah, yeah, we're doing a story. See, that's why these stories have been sucking. These characters are all dumb. Uh, just say you want the scales to measure drugs. <laughs> dumb and blind. Yeah, how, how did she not notice there was a coin stuck to the scale? Like, feckless. Only the diamond in the rough can take the genie's lamp. True. 
Okay, but this isn't stealing. Yeah, dude's an idiot. He, <laughs> open barley. Yeah, he, he completely deserved it. I, I'll, I'll give him that. He's, he, he, he belongs on r slash entitled parents. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> open flax. Open red yeast rice. Open peanuts. Alibabababababab. I guess we're, we're making fun. Of, did, I, did I trip? I probably made a mistake, right? Were you making fun of me? How dare you? Wow, more sacks. But she was rich, so she didn't care. Uh, Thief and the Cobbler was such a good and cute movie. Is that similar to The Prince and the Pauper? Is it like a Barbie movie? Sapphic comfort. <laughs> Sapphic is always comfort. Wow, you guys. I love when women blindfold me. Now it looks like his wife murdered him. Uh, did we really need a whole funeral scene for this loser? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, second wife. I hate all these stories. I miss Mufasa. Oh my god, Mustafa, such a grass. Wow, that takes skill. Stop drawing on the door, you fools. So this whole story has just been people outsmarting each other very easily. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's like a hobby in Persia. It's like, you know, other places have football. Persia has outsmarted each other. I will give you shelter, baby. That is a heckin' lot of giant jars. Come on into my bed, baby. Who are you talking to? <laughs> All robbers are a jar. Revenge of a jar. Oh, my God. The missing fourth Aladdin movie. It's time to oil up. Game of Thrones shit. Yo, Yo, Morgiana is sick. Yeah, she's she's something else. Damn, this woman is good, but also, wouldn't the others have heard her, the screams? Um, no, they were in jars. Uh, everyone knows that Persian jars are soundproof. Silently boiled alive. They were very polite. She needs to take Alibaba's house. Okay, so we're caught up now. Morgiana can be gay with me and actually be happy. True. Uh, same sly. I want a girl who can take care of shit like this, ride or die. I mean, that, that, is, that is squad and relationship goals all at the same time. Pearl necklace joke. Well, you, you said in your chest, right? If you said on your chest, I, we would have been same page day one. Uh, Thief and the Cobbler was an Alibaba-inspired movie that Disney stomped on. Sounds like them. We should watch it. Yeah, I'm down. Shh, pale shh. All right, sorry. I don't, don't, don't want to expose you. How do you know how I wear necklaces? How do you? Okay, hold on. Now, all right. Now, if we're, if we're talking about a pearl necklace in the sexual sense, how do you get that inside your chest? Lay it out for me. The Thief and the Cobbler is a good movie. All right, yeah, I'm down to watch it. I'm down to do it. Let me get this book off my thighs. It's so heavy. Goodness me. Goodness me, guys. You guzzle it down. Ah. <laughs> you guzzle it down or you, uh, you, uh, hmm. Okay, I guess that is a way to get it in your chest, possibly, if you, if you want to be, like, technically correct. Lungs, yeah. All right, well, we can, we can move on. Give me a keyword, guys. You're still floored by Mustafa's ability to find the house again, but only when blindfolded, right? It's, it's a bit strange. I'm honestly super impressed that he was able to do that at all. Alibaba? All right, let's try Alibaba. No results. There isn't a single person who has heard of Alibaba. Keyword, Jabberjaw. All right, let's go. No results. You guys are gonna have to go a little bit less oblique here. Aladdin, okay. I think we might get, we might get something for this. All right, we got hits. We got hits here. Okay, we got a we got a single player. Let's let's look at some stuff. All right, uh, let's look at this. This is a showcase. Someone did an art. So uh, let's let's look at this art. Oh, oh, it's not just an art. I'm on a carpet. Oh, here we go. Ah, it's very hard to steer this. <laughs> I mean <laughs> I'm trying to get to the cave of wonders guys I don't <laughs> holy shit 
Okay, wait, why are we pooping about? It's a very good question. I think that's hookah smoke. Oh, he's got a pipe. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. Ah, oh, I see the lamp. I never understood how to play this PC game, but I did that before. Yeah, I know, the music is insane. We only have to endure it for a few more moments. I just want to see these lamp physics. No, we're getting further away from our goal. Stop. Okay, I give up. It's too much. It's just, it's too much for me. Let's try this one. Maybe this one's a little bit better. I'm a genie. I feel like I could probably do something about the, uh, about the audio here. Maybe just turn it down a little bit. Just bring it down to a three. Okay. Well, this is delightful. Can we do a jump? We can't do a jump. Climb these fuzzy stairs, you know? Oh, there's a lamp. I want to know how this guy made the genie so shiny. How do you do it? Why do you jump? You're flying. No, no, I jump. It's it's an illusion. He's hopping up and down on his one pod. Well, this is not working. All right, let's try going inside the castle. I feel like the answer is somewhere with that uh, with that lamp, but uh, none of the other buttons seem to do anything. So I guess that's that. Maybe it's, it's incomplete. Let's see what else we got here. Aladdin bonus VR. Well, I don't have a VR headset, so unfortunately I can't check that one out. Ah, but there's a non-VR version. Okay, we'll check that in a minute. Genie just had Bukake. That's why he's, uh, that's why he's shiny. You know, you got an answer for everything, don't you? <laughs> this person got a piece of sheet music from Michaels and did one take. Well, this is, this is kind of cute. Sure is a lot of... Now the music is too quiet. Honestly. They're ugly AF. Nah, dude, they're like Funko Pops. You have more answers than Vice? Aladdin looking like an alien? Alright, we'll go back once more. What's this bonus? Everyone looks so much better here. Oh, look at that. We got Splash Art. Wait, isn't this a music... Isn't this one metric music from Lion King? Jasmine had quite the rack. She had quite the ear rack. Saying something looks like a Funko Pop is never a compliment. Oh, I know. Are we still doing Splash Art? Like, we are. Okay. Brilliant. Commencer. Controllers. Quitter. Okay. Oh, look at that. I'm sliding. I'm sliding against the sand. That was a song that played when Symbol was being emo about his dead dad. Yeah. That's what I thought. This is French, isn't it? This isn't actually telling you the control. I don't think I can get back. <laughs> it's broken. Hang on. Oh, I love that echo. Okay, let's go. This is it, you guys. You ready? We're playing Aladdin. Finally. What, no trademark? I hope I don't get uh, TOS for this. 
dort dans les sables d'or. C'est l'instant en vous tend, volant à pivolo, vers la magie des nuits d'Orient. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, it's Jafar. Is it loud again? Hang on. Jeez Louise. I wish there was some, like, normalization with these. Yeah, let's move it down to three. Take me to Ajar. Take me to Jabar. Oh, my God. What the f... Am I the... What am I? <laughs> this is not very Aladdin. What am I? I don't like that I could see myself. Hey, what up? What's going on, shorty? Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna go in here. Don't mind me. Oh, we actually can go in. Oh, lovely. There's the there's the magic uh, carpet there. Am I yellow now? Oh, I'm green. There's a boo. Next to a giant shoe. Or something. There's uh, there's Aladdin. You know, he's got the highest defense stat. Also can use some white magic. It's like I'm really at Disney World. Yeah, yeah. Are they farting in here? Okay. You hate these models very much? You know, it's tough. It's tough to make good art in dreams. They just ripped the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, they sure have. That's what I'm saying. I hope I don't get in trouble. Ah, uh, that's why I have such a tall jump. It's to get up here. So I can grab the lump. <laughs> hey, what up, buddy? He's so happy. Okay. Honestly, this is not, like, it's not terrible. Like, this is kind of cool. It's like walking through, like, a diorama. A series of dioramas. Only the diamond in the rough can jump the lump. <laughs> okay, we got it. Time to go. <laughs> I mean, you guys are dumping on it, but I, I, I can understand how much effort this took. So I think it's, I think it's all right. Like, yeah, it's janky as hell, but. Someone put, like, someone clearly put a lot of work into this. Yeah, yeah. He's got Booba. Booba. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those cans! Holy shit! It's okay, it's in French. Okay. Cosmos? Grab an ankle! We got some ankle grabbing here. This guy's just jerking off. I can't believe this is what Death Pale removed the castle. Do you think the genie tail can turn into a dildo? Probably. Sure, that's pretty thick. Pretty thick boy. Is there a way out of here? Or do I go into the castle? French is so ugly. <laughs> Oh, okay, I left. What's, what's going on back here? What's, uh, what's, uh, what's all this? Oh, what's all this then? Do you imagine Robin Williams learned every language to sing these? Absolutely. Is her hair... Her hair is clipping through her torso. Wow. Okay. She's got a, she's got a, her and the Sultan both have pretty pronounced dumpies. Are you seeing this? 
She's pretty buff too, <laughs> yeah. Yo, her booba is the same size as the genie's booba. That means they both have booba. Oh hey, it's Jafar. Does Jafar have booba? Does Jafar have a butt? No, he have a butt. This Jasmine looks like a character that throws axes in a fighting game. <laughs> oh shit. It's Jafar. And Jafar. You know, he looks really stressed out by the situation. You know, he's really upset. This is kind of the coolest thing ever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. This is honestly really cool. Like, the models are awful. But it, this is really cool. Let's, can we at least admit that? Can we at least concede to that that this is cool? Want a Disneyland Paris ride? He's still just clipping away. It reminds me of Disney Infinity Sandbox. I haven't played. I haven't done. Like, I was expecting this to end ages ago. I'm assuming this is the end. Yeah, there we go. I'm mostly just upset by how ugly French sounds. Damn. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll give that a thumbs up. Why not? Having childhood Disney animatronic flashbacks. I've never been to a Disneyland or a Disney World. And now I think I don't have to. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. DID. What, do you, what, what does the DID stand for? Part of Kingdom Hearts Dive into Dreams. Big thanks to Time Last for making many of the assets in here. Nope, we don't do Kingdom Hearts in here. We don't. We don't do it. Diamond in the Rough. Everyone knows the story of Aladdin, but is it a true story? Oh. I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, let's have another keyword, guys. Let's do one more. We'll do one more keyword. Get paled to Disney World 2022. No, no, no. I don't want to. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to. It's fine. What do I have against Kingdom Hearts? Uh, much. I have much against Kingdom Hearts. One Piece? Okay, put in One Piece. Smilodon? Okay, hang on. We'll do One Piece and, and also Smilodon. We'll see if there's anything Smilodon in here. What a callback. No results for Smilodon. We both want pirates? What else was in there? Let's see. Pirates of the Caribbean? Wonder Twins activate. Pirates of the One Piece. Let's go ahead. One Piece. This should be good. This will not be drenched in memes, for sure. Uh, One Piece Brook Bust. Okay. Brook the Skeleton. One Piece Burning Battle. Work in progress. Okay, let's check this out. Alright, so the story isn't done yet. But he's got Bounderman. Okay, so they're going to have Zoro, Law, X-Drake, Kaido, and Katakuri. Let's go. What are these? What the hell is this? What are these enemies? Ah, what are you? What is he not supposed to be? Fuck. It, it, it does the oof. <laughs> it does the oof. Uh, I have to go Roblox myself. Oh shit, oh that's that's the Conqueror's Hockey! Okay. It's kinda of farty, isn't it? What are the controls? Alright, gear one gear four Boundoman, gear four snake man, jump, guard, special attack, busoshku haki, and then I can turn hockey off. So that's armament hockey, right? Yes. Okay. Uh oh shit. Bomberman! <laughs> this is so stupid! <laughs> Alright, can we get out of it? How do I get out? <laughs> Yo, 
Yeah, no, that's exactly what it's like. All right, all right, hang on. Let's try Snake Man now. Why did the control thing show up? All right. <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Law is pretty hot. Not gonna lie. I do love Law. This is very silly. Okay, let's let's turn on the armament hockey. Here we go. Yeah, the Conqueror's hockey knocks him out. Knocks him flat, baby. Zoro always made me like want to drop my panties. For real? Well, I, I'm just like Zoro. Maybe I can convince you to put them back on. If you listen to Zoro. Just like your BFF? Your BFF like Zoro? This is ridiculous. This is just a bit silly. So, you know. Nice offering. Where is Donut Man? Oh, we're not quite there yet. I'm a real pal. Well, you know, I care about you. You know, I've got your uh, got your best interests at heart here. One piece. All right, so we got Otaku Otaku Peter W zero one zero eight two. Clipping that shit the next time you bully me. No. I mean, I guess it's all right. You guys got to start doing more clips, man. No one's posted anything in the clips channel. It's all your fault. All right, so this appears to be in Spanish. Your BFF like Zorro and Doflamingo? Can I do Oran Host Club as, as a keyword? Oh, oh, hey, it's me. Hey, guys, it's me. Oi, drop your panties. Doko kana? <laughs> Doko kana? <laughs> Doko kana? All right, well, that's, you know. That's fun. <laughs> Can you imagine Pale becoming a Zoro VTuber? Yeah, I gotta do it. I gotta do it now. I gotta reset my progress. Don't cancel me! Why do you always do this? That's about the right level of sense of direction when he falls off. Yeah. I'm a genius. Alright, let's look up Oran host, Hostobu. We'll just type in Oran and see what we get. No, we definitely have to type more. Okay. Right. It doesn't seem like we can. Uh, why does everything link back to Five Nights at Freddy's? Like, what does Oran have to do with Five Nights at Freddy's? Anyone? Anybody. Monk. Monk. Does anyone have a clue? Anime High School? I kind of want to see what this is about, honestly. Just hang on a second. I look at this monkey. It's been very quick to get racist. <laughs> okay. That was really scary. I was, I, I my butthole clenched. <laughs> okay, well, sure. Yeah, that's, you could, sure. Paul's Adventure. What do we got? A game by Garolina. Wait, isn't that the, wait, wait, wait. No, that's not true. Someone's just aping. But Garolina's the, 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 the game company, quote unquote, that made uh, Petscop. You can't recover. You're leaving. Don't do it. We're about to play Paul's Adventure. Fuck you, Paul. Oh, that Paul! It's Paul! Is uh, is the game going to start at some point? Like, is there anything even... There's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's nothing even here. Nothing happens. There's nothing. This is nothing. How dare you? What? Why? How are you, you going to have this T-Rex in here and then there's nothing I can do? I agree. Petscop is amazing. Horrendous. Okay. Paul doesn't have adventures. He's dead. Spoilers. Anime High School. All right, that's not working. Anime High. Metro Street Racer. Demon Hunter. Okay, that's close. Angel Attack. Slice of Life RPG Alpha. Okay, let's try this. Let's try the Slice of Life Alpha. You, you guys can only watch School Days if you have a nice boat. Am I Slender Man? This is just a concept demo. Enjoy. Press circle to close. Okay. Kunio. 
You better not be moving in on my senpai. Come, Chalice. Stop attacking my family. This seems very, um... Not done. Isayama High School. Hey, MC, you're finally here. So, have you made your decision? You coming with us to the arcade on Thursday, huh? Yeah, I'm going. Let's get it. I'll make sure to beat you at Turbo X this time. I'm unbeatable. Friendship with Kazuma increased plus one. Dope. I'm very friendly. I live in the fountain. I keep... I do it like a Jack Morgan. I do like a Captain Morgan on the fountain sometimes. There we go. Fuck. We did it. Pale finally stream Persona. <laughs> you got it. Uh, sweet baby rays. Okay, let's see. What, what was the next suggestion? Yandere? Okay, let's try Yandere. Yandere Simulator fan game. Yandere Simulator version 0 0.2. Ah, I see others have taken up the cum chalice. They know. They know. All right, what do we got? It looks just like the real one. Oh, jeez. Go to character testing. Holy shit! Guys, I'm going to need a few minutes to myself. Can you all leave? Oh, these legs. Okay, well, I love this run cycle. What, <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> yo, yo. This is very buddy. I'll be in my chambers. What am I dragging exactly? It's making a mess. Is just this like a box of... Oh, is this a dead? I think it's a dead. All right, let's go inside the school. <laughs> By the way, she's automatically spinning. I'm not doing that. Okay, well. Uh, there's a Yandere visual novel called Your Boyfriend, and I'm obsessed with the Yandere guy. I'm really good at that evil laughing. Can you do an ara ara? Oh, ara ara. Can you do one of those? Uh, this is this is very dumb. This is very. I mean, these these legs are gonna sustain me for the rest of my life. But you know, it's uh, you know, it's um, <clears throat> it's just uh, it's just one of those things. You know, it's uh, you know, what can you what can you really do? Okay, well, what a waste of time that was. Let's let's find something else. You like the oh ho ho young lady laugh? Yeah, that's pretty good too. It's pretty good. You'll link me a Darren Gray live where Kyo goes full evil laugh psycho, whatever. Oh, you'll link your Lincoln Cosmo. I'm left out again. You're trying to learn Perona's laugh? I love her laugh. She's great. All right, what about this one? Sorry, this game is not playable yet. Demo out soon. Oh! Blue balls. My balls are azure. Like the like the midday sky. Keyword, milk. All right, we'll do milk. That's going to be our last one uh, for the stream, I think. So we'll just, just take a look here. Ah, milk EP. Here's four little tracks I've made using the superb audio tools. Micro, media, uh, media matters. I don't, I don't remember what it's called. Molecule, media molecule has created. Use them in your creations. All right, cool. Let's get the milk. Let's get it, kids. Milky pee. That's what happens when you have diabetes. Do I want more Diru? I flooded the music channel. I'm, I'm always down. Is this going to happen? Okay. Did Napstablook do these tracks? I'll ask Diabetes. Alright, get back to me. I'm a little flower baby, I'm thirsty. Oh, 
So if you want to get more of these milky beats, you can you can follow uh, <clears throat> at Disarm Tweets on Twitter. Thanks for the bits, Cosmos. What are those for? What's the occasion? Oh, bubble tea. Woo woo, I'm so thirsty. Please feed me milkies. Oh God. Oh my gosh. Well, that's delightful. I, I want to get something a bit more substantive here. Possession of milk. Do we have some nightmare fuel here? I think we do. Oh. It's just a, it's another diorama. Man, the cum physics are incredible. Are you seeing this? Hang on, I'm kind of losing the plot here. I'm trying to get in on this glass. There we go. Damn. Milk Cthulhu. Okay. Milk got me like... <laughs> All right, I, I guess. Let's see. This game was worth every penny. This is a certified hood class. Well, I think I think it's probably fine to just leave it there. <laughs> I think Can you put in your boyfriend actually? All right. We'll we'll, we'll do that for you. Um For whatever reason, it's just more Friday Night Funkin. Was that on purpose? Yes, let's see. Tuesday afternoon tune-in. Okay. Can't even get stocked anymore. Okay. Hey, look, that girl in the background is sitting on my face. bad recreation at all. Loud AF, but pretty cool. All right, I'm, I'm going to save this. This is definitely something I'm going to want to play on my own time for real. That sounds fucking awful. Thanks. You're welcome. I, I mean, I don't know. Seems kind of neat. Okay, well, on that note, you and rhythm games would be fun. I've done it before. I've done rhythm games. I've done Hatsune Miku. I've done uh, Rhythm Heaven. I think you can actually find like little bits of those streams on my YouTube channel. I think the, the Hatsune Miku one was called the Manly Change of Planly stream. And the, um, the Rhythm Heaven one is very much about uh, penises. The dreams have taken pale hostage, Stockholm. I thought it was okay. Persona Rhythm Game stream when? I actually have those. I can stream those. I don't know why you would want that, but I can. I can do it. You remember the mask? Yeah. It's a nightmare we can never forget. We run, we run afoul of it, and it stays with us forever. Uh, you're welcome, Mimi. All right. Here, let's <clears throat> Thank you so much for coming to the stream. I appreciate everyone who showed up. I appreciate everyone who stayed even more. If you like me, you could follow me, pale underscore voyager on Twitter. You can also join the Discord. Good way to see when streams are coming. Uh, be part of the community. Next stream is going to be on Sunday. We're going to be continuing Undertale, possibly finishing it, uh, maybe. So until then, please take the sweetest, kindest, loveliest care of yourselves, and I will see you next time. Uh, I'm going to try and...
pass the buck onto a poor unfortunate. A poor unfortunate G wolf. <laughs> Actually, wait, no. We're gonna we're gonna raid uh, pseudo shaman. He's playing Sifu. He deserves the views, so we're gonna get him. Please be sure to say hi to him, even if you don't stick around uh, for much of his stream. Uh, tell him that. Tell him hi. Tell him that he's a lovely boy. Thank you. Okay. So with that said, uh, once again, thanks everybody. Uh, you guys really are uh, very very swell, swell as hell. Uh, that's it. Stream's over. Everybody out.